Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you're new. In this video I'm sharing with you a new template which is template 31 and I'm using this template to make a winter wonderland inspired set of flowers so that I'm using really a lot of blues and thinking of snowflakes and snow and so let's get started. So for these flowers specifically, I have made one with an eight petal per layer set. So this one, it has an octagon base and I'm using three layers. Well, this one has a hexagon base, which is usually what I make, and it has two layers, but the petals are the same, which here you can tell the petal sizes are different between layers. And you can add different flower centers to get a different look. However, again, it's the same template, and I'm just using different ways to make something a little different. So that's just my intro to the flower. I really just like to stress that you can make different flowers using the same template. So you don't really need a lot, but there are some templates that I prefer over others. Template 18, if you've seen any of my videos, is one of them. So this is template number 31, and it's this petal here. Now, I'm gonna describe it, it's gonna look silly, but I like it because it has two curves here and then a tip, like a pointed tip. I made this thinking of a snowflake, and so I have a snowflake here, and snowflakes have these pointed ends, and I know that snowflakes generally are unique, they have unique patterns, but when we make them ourselves, they tend to be more geometric and uniform in shape. And so I was thinking of the tip of the snowflake here, and that's what inspired me to make this flower. I was just thinking of snow, snowflakes in winter, and you know, things like that, so that this is where I came up with this petal, and this is why I've used it this way. But in future videos, as I've mentioned slightly before, that I hope to make different looking flowers with the same template so you can see that you can do things in many different ways to get different looking flowers. But for this flower here, again, I said I used an octagon base and then I have eight petals per layer because it's an octagon base. So with an octagon, obviously you have eight sides, so that's why I use an octagon base. For this one, it's a hexagonal base, so six sides, that's why I have six petals per layer. So for this flower, the sizes that I used are five and a half inch wide, five inch wide, and then four and a half inch wide. That's how I like to make my templates. The easiest way is just to pick the largest size petal. So for this one, it's five and a half inches wide. The largest petal and then goes two sizes down. So if you're looking at my template set, either the PDF or just looking at the sizing chart, this is petal four, five, and six. And for this base here, I am using a seven and a half inch wide base. And I also backed it with poster board, so you can get poster board at the Dollar Tree or any store. So what I've done is cut out a seven and a half inch wide base, and then I glued it using a tape runner to poster board, and that way it's a thicker base. So I've done this so that when I glue the petals onto this base, there's a nice sturdy base for all those petals to rest. If you're using the same weight cardstock, it may just flop and fall over, and so it's, I generally like to use a thicker base for now. I also have a three and a half inch wide circle for this flower, and also a seven and a half inch wide snowflake. So this is a snowflake that I've actually drawn myself using my iPad, and then I just drew all these together, and the reason why I like this one in particular is for this base here, and I've covered it in fake snow so that it sits right onto this snowflake. So as you can see, there's a diamond pattern around this foam ball, and that's the look that I was going for in here. So I really like that in the middle. Between the two flowers, this one has a more simpler look. I actually did very little prep in the petals, and then it has this nice simple snowflake center here, but I think it looks sort of visually interesting, at least to me. My eyes are drawn immediately to the center, so that's something that I really love doing, just something very simple on the outside, but then a little bit more fancy on the inside. For this flower here, I used, again, a hexagonal base, so then there's six petals per layer, but I use the same petal size per layer. So these are all four and a half inch wide petals. So these petals here are prepped a little bit. It has a little bit of a curl. And what I really went for here was a fancier center. So I still have that same foam ball in the center with snow on it, but I've added little pieces here to make it look more visually interesting in the center. And that's really what I like to do. And for the base, I have a six inch wide base here. And also, again, I've backed that with poster board. So for the centers, I did create a few new files, and this one has just a triangle shape. So I have three of those, and that's what gives me this little pattern here. I may only just use two. And then I have this flower center here, which actually is 
using the same petal that's here on these flowers. So this petal here is actually the same. I did tweak it just a little bit to make it skinnier and I added it to this flower center here and that's what gives me this look here. So it looks like a little mini flower inside the flower itself. This is something that I actually do include with the template if you're purchasing it from an Etsy shop. So I do have three of these and I wrap this around the foam ball to get that look right there. So assembly is kind of like any other flower that I've done if you watched any of my videos. So I am going to breeze right through it. But I'll start with this flower here. So for the flower petals, all that I do here is just cut that slit and then glue the pieces together. So for the smallest petal, I cut this slit here about an inch and three quarters. So let's see how good my cutting is. So it's a little bit more, but it's okay. I usually cut it roughly that much. You could add this slit to your file before you cut it with your cutting machine. I don't do that because there are so many different ways that you can cut this slit to get different looking petals. So if I had just cut it smaller, um, you would get a different pet looking petal than if you cut it a longer slit. So I avoid adding those things in because I think that's can be personalized. The second petal here I cut two and a quarter inch. So for this largest petal, I give it a two and three quarter inch cut, but I'm gonna cut it smaller now, just to start. So that is not two and a, two and three quarters, but if I cut, if I just add a cut that small, I'm limited to a flower basically looking like that. So, so there isn't much of a range when I cut the slit very small. Basically get a more upright petal. However, I like to have my petals sit flatter especially for the largest petal. So I want that slit to be about two and three quarters. That's not quite it. Just a little bit more. So with that longer slit, it sits lower and not as upright. I'm not sure if that really translates on the video very well, but it doesn't sit very tall because it's a longer slit. So I don't add that to my petals for that specific reason. And then as far as just prepping the petal, all I do is just add glue. I don't curl it for this look here. So I glue the two flaps together and then I have most of my petals prepped already. So one tip I have, if you have trouble gluing the petals to the base, for instance, if you glue one correctly, but then as you continue on, you start gluing it in a way that it's not spaced correctly. What you can do is just get another base that's smaller. For instance, this is seven and a half inches wide. You can get one that is seven inches wide. Lay it on top, you don't glue it, you just leave it as a guide so you know where to glue those petals without gluing them too far in or unevenly spaced. But as far as gluing it, it's super easy. You just glue it directly onto the base. I glue it about an inch in, so the very edge of this petal sits about one inch into the base. So I'll go ahead and glue everything together and then fast forward that. Okay, so now that was easy to glue together. I think it looks so pretty. I'm gonna add that three and a half inch wide cover up the center. And then with the seven and a half inch wide Snowflake, what I do is I take a bone folder and I just lightly curl the very, whoops, I just lightly curl the edge here or the pointed tips, the ends, whatever you call the snowflake. And then I add glue to the very center. And then I put that right in the middle. So as far as making this flower center here, it's super easy. I have a piece of paper here with this fake snow. So this is what the fake snow looks like. It's called fine snow in a jar. So it definitely is very fine indeed. I would not want to spill this accidentally, but I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's marked $4, but there's always a 50% off sale on Christmas stuff. So it's only $2 for a, it's a small jar, but it does use quite a bit. I've made quite a few of these flower centers and I barely made a dent into it. Generally it's packed. It looks like I'd never even opened it. It's probably really compact. So what I do is I use Mod Podge. I just take a foam brush, I dip it in, and I just add glue to the outer part first. If you have something to hold it, like a toothpick or something, maybe you can just do the entire thing at once. But 
because I'm holding it with my hands and I don't want to get that all over me. I do like to take a little bit and then just dip it and roll it. I once spilled a lot of glitter on me so I'm very careful not to use too much and get it all over me because I'm still getting it out of my carpets. So I've got a lot on the outside and then now I'm going to go ahead and then glue that center portion. When you roll it, it helps get enough into there and compact and then get it all over that glue. I would just let this dry for a little bit so that none of that snow comes off and onto you. So that's how I make them. They're super easy. Okay, so I'm gonna let that one dry and this is the one that was already made. So all I need to do now is just glue it right on. So I do try to put it in between or in the center of the snowflake, so it has sort of like an outline around it. And so that is the flower. I just love these. I am actually going to hang these in our living room once all the Christmas stuff comes down. So this will be a nice little touch to have like color in our place, but still be within winter. Okay, so for this next flower, it's again, super easy, but what I've done with this petal is I actually shaped it a little bit, as you can maybe see. I shaped this a little bit and it did take some more time so I kept the flower itself simple just so that I wouldn't be spending all day just prepping the petals. But all I did here was I flipped it around. With this paper there's a little bit of a texture on one side and it's smoother on the other side. So on the smooth side or the underside I am curling it, just the edges here, with a bone folder. So I give it a curl. like that, and then what I do is in the center, I add a little bit, so what I do is I take my bone folder, and then I add it right to the center, and I give it a little bit of a smoothing effect. I'm kind of making a groove in the middle. So this probably would be better if you have something like a dowel or a rod, that way you can fold it slightly around it and give it that shape. I add just a little bit of a groove in the center of this petal so that the petals here are curled on the outside like that but then it has a little bit of a dip in the middle. So then I just add a little slit here about two and a quarter inches long and then I add glue and then glue the flaps together as we did with those petals and then I have my prepped petal. Okay, so in total here, I have 12 petals because I have six petals per layer, 12 petals total. And all I do is just glue these onto the base, kind of like I did there. And so I will go ahead and start doing that and I'll fast forward through the clip. Okay, so that's the flower, super easy, as I said before. It's not really that difficult to put together, but let's work on the flower center. So this was that flower center that I had made earlier and it's pretty much dry. I think it would take a little bit more time to get it fully dry. I think if I wanted to, I could really scrape everything off, but to the touch, it's pretty dry. I didn't add that much glue. So to get this center here, first I start with this little flower strip here. So I'm gonna call it a flower strip. It's basically the, what I use for the flower center. And I give the petals just a tiny little bit of a curl. I don't want it too much, so very lightly, that's what I do. So I'm gonna do that with all three. Basically, you can use anything as a flower center if you create one yourself. I think it's just a nice way to make it look a little more fancy. So what I do is I glue each piece one at a time. I add a little bit of glue to start. And then I just put that right on the edge and wrap it around. I am going to try to pull it a little tight around the ball so that there's no gaps. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue halfway or almost halfway. So I'm gonna wrap it until I get at least to that first part of the strip. And then what I do is I actually just tear it. I tear off the excess. I don't want it to continue to wrap around because it'll overlap and it kind of look funny. So I do three strips, but then what I do is I offset the next strip. I want it placed in between that first set. So here, here's two petals. I want the first petal here to fit right in between those two petals from the first layer. And then again, as I get to that first part of this strip, I'm going to add glue right up until that first part and then rip off the excess. 
You can keep it if you'd like. If your ball is a little bit bigger, then maybe it could use the entire strip. So I am going to add one more layer, and this time, so I add that right in between those petals there. Try to overlap it just a little bit. If not, it's not a big deal. And then you get a nice little sort of flower halo around your flower center. So for this, it's super easy. All you do is just wrap it right around. And I think I'm gonna use two of these pieces rather than three, but I give this just a little tiny, tiny bit of a curl. And this, you just glue it directly to your flower center as you did with the previous piece. Just wrap it all around. And this I will allow it to overlap because I'm gonna add another piece to it. So I'm gonna add that second piece. So you can see here, I actually didn't offset it much, and so it looks like I could fit another piece in between these petals here. So actually that's what I'll do. I'll just use the last remaining piece. So obviously there are many different ways you could play around with your flower centers, depending on how you like it. So this time I'm gonna be a little more mindful of how I'm gluing this. So I want it to fit in between previous flower center to cover up that gap in the middle. And then I'm also going to pull it down just a little bit more. Okay, so all that's left is just to glue this center to your flowers. Okay, so I'm going to glue this directly to the flower. Make sure you press down and hold. Okay, so that is the flower center there. Obviously you can add many different pieces to make it look however you want, but this is the look that I was going for. Okay, so those are my two flowers for my Winter Wonderland set that I'm making for after Christmas. I am going to be adding more flowers and maybe a little few things with this, but that'll come later. I like to take a while to decide how I want the look. So I will be adding this template to my Etsy shop linked down below. My templates will be 50% off for the next few months as I get templates uploaded there. I'm a little bit slow, so just check that out if you're interested. All right, now that that little plug is out of the way, let me know if you have any questions down below. I will list as much as I can about materials down in the description box. Hope you guys are having a great holiday season. Bye.